listen, you have to taste this gluten-free pumpernickel bread. Without pushing, <laughs> stop, <laughs> <honey>. stop <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think that if I saw myself driving on the road, I would call the police and say that um, an eight-year-old child got control of a vehicle. 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 Hey guys, got these pajamas. Super cool. Love them. So comfy. So big. Nice. Very nice pajamas. Really pretty. I recommend them to everyone. I love these pajamas so much. I recommend you get these pajamas because I love them so much. They look so good. My hair is so much. Look at them. Match me actually. My hair is supposed to be pink, but it matches my pajamas. My hair is supposed to be red. I'm not overwhelmed. 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 Yes, you are. 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 Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number twelve, number thirteen, number fourteen, number fifteen, number sixteen. Number 17. Number 18. Number 19. Number 20. Number 21. Number 22, I think. Number 23. Number 24. Number 27. Number 28. Number 29. Ready? Hello. Today. Um, I'm getting a new iPhone today. Well, it's the newest. What? You like the iPhone 5? It's the newest. <laughs> I love the iPhone 5. Like <laughs> free is our ever. Sam, would you like a free is our sample? So this is the new model, huh? This is the new model. Would you like to buy it? <gasps> Imposter! Look at the <laughs> people if you had had a her day. If you, you had, had a business day. that you were passionate about, then you would know what it takes to run a business, but you don't. So you don't even act like you know what case. I'm talking about. Excuse me, do you know what the canned goods are? We can help you with that! Um, um, guys, wait! Here you go! Here you go. I used to be so obsessed with the game Pepper Granny chicken, that I knocked yes. over a basket once in the bathroom, so I ran to the shower to hide behind the cover shirt. I used to be so obsessed. I used to be so obsessed. I used to be so obsessed with the game Granny that I walked into the bathroom once. I used to be so obsessed with the game Granny that I walked into the bathroom once. Story time. My senior year of high school, my English assignment was to create a character and then use this character throughout the year for various different short stories. And um, my character's name was Edmund, and he only could eat the yolks of boiled eggs. He did not like the texture of the whites. And Edmund was schizophrenic. I don't know if I already said that. And um, his life goal was to become a father and love a child and care for a child. However, due to his mental instability, he was not able to. And that really was upsetting to him. So to fulfill this desire, he created little clay fetuses um, in his basement all day and all night. He would 
just carved these little fetuses. And But then his nephew, nope, his brother, gave birth, nope, his brother's wife gave birth to a nephew that he could care for. And he was so excited to do that. So he was rushing to the hospital, meeting the nephew. And then they hand it to him, oh, here's a little nephew. And then his schizophrenia is t- t- hits in, and he thinks that it's a ticking bomb, he's trying to save his family. So he runs up to the roof of the hospital and whips the newborn off of the roof. And I vividly remember the word I used to describe it was splattered. The infant splattered against the 